what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology here the sun is shining brightly and today i thought why not make a video on one of my favorite characters from the ramayan yes it is not lord ram it is <laughs> it is not even lakshman it is not bharat it is not even chatrugan it is not even hanuman yes 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 you saw it right it is lessons from the life of the great vibhishan yes we all know this great personality so let us try to know what lessons this person is trying to teach us all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then before the sun sets please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there just like lord ram was always there for vibhishan so now we know who is vibhishan he is the younger brother of ravan <laughs> ravan kumkaran and sutnaka these four total so they had performed severe austerities and pleased lord brahma and when lord brahma appeared everybody asked different benedictions boons and then vibhishan asked to lord brahma that please bless me that i can always remain a loyal faithful obedient servant of lord vishnu and i can also always follow in the footsteps of dharma irrespective of what are the situations in life yes that is what he had asked imagine imagine the boons the materialistic boons which ravana had asked and imagine what vibhishan asked my god <laughs> so time and again we see in the ramayana that vibhishan gives good counsel good advice to ravana but ravana out of his arrogance his egoistic nature and his desire to enjoy the wives of other women he does not pay any heed to what vibhishan says and ultimately when ravan kidnaps sita devi the goddess of fortune who is the goddess of fortune lakshmi herself yes uh, then vibhishan again tries to warn him that look you have done everything it was fine but this act of yours is going to finish the entire dynasty yes he was warning ravana time and again and again that the dynasty of the great pulastya rishi will be finished so please 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 go and return sita back to ram because she is the goddess of fortune she is the wife of vishnu himself so Uh, Lakshmi only will stay with Narayan. Okay, she will not stay with anybody else. And what to speak of anybody else? And what to speak of a demon like you? That's what he was meaning basically. So he tried his best. He tried everything, from from give, trying to give him counsel, trying to fall at his feet and beg him that please return Sita back because that is detrimental for our family. That is not going to bring. uh auspiciousness into the race of the demons the rakshas vanch as they say but all his efforts in vain <laughs> ravana never listened to him and then finally when that day arrived when ravana kicked him out of the palace and vibhishan thought it's high time now that we should leave this place and then vibhishan went to lord ram and he surrendered to the feet of lord ram so we all know that story but the lessons that we should learn from this story is that whenever you have some family member or whenever you have somebody in your closed circles yes whenever you have somebody in your authorities yes within your authorities and if that person is not following the codes of the scriptures that fall person is not following dharma as they say right right if that person is opposing anything which maryada purushottam lord ram says or codes of religion codes of conduct codes of spirituality anything of that sort then it is highly essential that we give up the association of such people even if it is very difficult for us even if they are very 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 close to us which means in within our friend circle also yes we we can extend this to our friend circle also in our friend circle also it might happen that we go and meet people they are discussing about women who is having an affair with whom or they are discussing about who got the promotion how they got it yes 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 we all know how they got the promotion yes or who uh, who cheated on whom yes all those useless garbage rubbish talk of this material world 
and then we are on our spiritual journey we are trying to uh, control our senses we are trying to be happy in this world by taking the name of god but then these people don't let us do so so then we need to ensure that uh, we give up the association of such friends yes because otherwise what happens we stay there see staying with these people is like staying in lanka yes so what happened when they stayed in lanka whoever stayed in lanka completely perished yes so if you stay in lanka you will also perish <laughs> so what to do if you are in lanka don't stay in lanka go come to rameshwaram come to dhanushkoti where lord ram is yes so now this does not mean that you have to leave the company or you have to say to your family members or close relatives that i will not stay with you because you can't go anywhere because in kaliuga it's lanka everywhere <laughs> but the lesson which we need to learn is that just like vibhishan went and took shelter of lord ram similarly in the weekends or whenever we have time whenever we can take out some time from our busy schedule we should try to go and meet holy people we should try and meet people who are like jambavan who are like hanuman ji who are like sugriv who are like angad yes who are these people we all know they were uh, the they were the ones who had supported lord ram externally in his battle with ravan so Lord Ram may not be there, but his associates are definitely there. So whenever, wherever, you, if you if you are in South India, there are so many temples. There are Sri Vaishnav temples, so many places. Yes, in Kanchi Puram, there is so many man. Tirumala Hills. What all do you need, man? If you are in South India, you are the luckiest, luckiest human being on earth. <laughs> I was lucky for so long, but not anymore. Maybe sometime in future. Then, if you are in North, then also you are lucky. So many places, my God: Badrinath, Kedarnath, this Kashi, this Vindavan, this Mathura, this Ayodhya. Oh my, my! Dwarka is there. So many places. So keep visiting these places. See, uh, your situation in the materialistic society is like Lanka, where there are the, the Vibhishan had only one Ravan, but nowadays in Kaliuga, every everybody is like a Ravan. Yes. So. we need to ensure that we also keep going to the holy places yes o- holy place is not only where the, uh, which is officially a holy place i mean historically but what is the ultimate definition of a holy place holy place is defined by actually a place where there are sadhus yes sadhus means not necessarily in saffron or in white or who, are, who don't get married but holy place is anywhere where there are people who are this who are discussing about a god yes so holy place can be somewhere in taj hotel mumbai <laughs> suppose there is a friend of yours who is talking about something from the ramayan then that that place is a holy place yes we don't have to go to vindavan necessarily to go go get, to go to a holy place sometimes uh, hearing uh, lectures in youtube that can transform your home into a holy place yes or uh meeting your grandmother sometimes or meeting your grandfather or whoever it, whoever it is or maybe some uh, maybe some senior you have who is connected to some spiritual organization then you go and meet them so that is like a holy place so it is said when uh, saints and sages as uh, rishabdev says in fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam 2 the most illustrious of his sons bharat maharaj rishabdev says mahat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu which means he says that the doors to liberation vimukteshu open when we serve the great souls when we do mahat sevanam yes so whenever we have a chance to uh, visit visit a great personality a sadhu or some guru who has come we should never miss the opportunity yes otherwise we will become like kumbhakaran kumbhakaran was sleeping in the lanka he was on the side of lord uh, this he was on the side of ravan and then what happened he perished completely so if we continue staying with ravana we will also perish yes so an intelligent person see a uh, intelligent person in the scriptures is known as uh, saragrahi <laughs> saragrahi means he will only take the essence he or she my god <laughs> so he will only take the essence which means that he will only take that which will benefit him in his life yes So now, if you are staying in a family and you have a elder brother, or if your father or your mother, if they are behaving like this, if suppose you are trying to give up meat, 
but they they eat meat in your home yes and uh, they are least interested about your spiritual life they are least concerned about your spiritual life then what to do you cannot say to them oh i will not stay here don't behave like that that's not good we wish and could do that but we can't do it and even if we can we should not do it uh, what should we do yes we should still stay there and we should try to find some uh, association of great souls who are nearby within our place within our town within our center within our city and in the weekends we should try try to go and visit them and from them when we visit them we will get enlightenment we will get empowerment by which even if we are staying in lanka it will be ensured that we sustain <laughs> the entire lanka will be burned but our house will be spared <laughs> yes that is the way it works so even if hanuman ji comes and burns of the entire lanka he will ensure that your house is not burned which means even if everybody perishes god will ensure he will rest assured that you sustain your spiritual life yes and to whatever extent it is possible if we can suppose there is some relative yes at least with relatives you can do this if sup- suppose there is some relative not very close family member but there are some near near and dear or close relatives who are um, pulling us towards wrong things then we can we must give up their association it doesn't matter that person is our uncle or auntie mama chacha phupha mummy <laughs> chacha chachi dada dadi nana nani <laughs> it doesn't matter who they are but for bibishan ravana was like god yes why because he was the elder brother and he was the king of the entire demons yes that is why he was known as rakshas raj so that is why uh, he was like god for bibishan and for sutnakha for mandodri and for bibishan also yes kumkaran everybody in fact but bibishan made the de- the decision that just because he is my elder brother i will not stay with him so even if we have some family members who are uh, disembarking on the journey to royal road to hell <laughs> just like ravana was embarking by doing so many sins yes so many my god it's like countless uncountable number of sins he had performed so then we need to ensure that we give up the association of such sinful people even if they are our family members otherwise as i said lanka was extinguished <laughs> hanuman ji had extinguished it once but then again they rebuilt it but then lord ram came and extinguished it okay so even if we think that uh, there is somebody we are staying with them now we are daily dealing very easily yes we are doing whatever they like even if that is sinful even if the scriptures do not permit or even if the sadhus uh, say that you should not do that but you are still doing it then you have to understand that very soon hanuman ji will come and burn off this lanka then along with all these people i will also perish all right so that is it what vibhishan wants to teach us that whatever is uh the externals i will always do that is right that which the scriptures tell us to do yes never compromise with the principles of the scriptures that is what vibhishan tells us and can you imagine can you just imagine having the courage and confidence to go and tell ravana in his face that oh i will not stay with you i will go and stay with my enemy my goodness my goodness imagine the level of courage and uh fearlessness that you should have yes of course that can only come when you are in the lotus feet of lord ramchandra only then it can happen okay so otherwise it will not happen so when you leave the shelter of ravana don't end up going to another ravan <laughs> end up going to lord ram yes only then you will be saved and that is the greatness of vibhishan his greatness spans far beyond what people know and he is one of the great 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 personalities who is revered and respected in the ramayana yes because of his truth and commitment towards dharma even if that asked him to uh, do things against his family so called family <laughs> uh, even if he did, did, even if he did not want to yes who would like that your brother is killed vibhishan was never happy doing that uh, some people in india some foolish people who don't know anything from the ramayana they will say i have seen when i go in trains in buses 
in aeroplane sometimes people ask me oh what do you think of this character vibhishan he cheated ravana i mean come on seriously <laughs> if if he would have any uh, ill what, what do you say na any ill any ill motives in his heart do you think lord ram would have accepted him lord ram is not ordinary human being like you or me he is directly vishnu he is sakshat bhagwan himself yes so when lord ram is seeing somebody he is not seeing that person he is directly seeing the soul and even uh, the members in the cabinet of lord ram had advised lord ram that oh he is ravana's brother how do you know that he is going to be chaste towards us yes how do you know that he is going to be faithful towards us and lord ram said no my heart says he is faithful <laughs> so when lord ram has given that guarantee when lord ram has sanctioned his greatness who in the universe are people like you or me to say that vibhishan betrayed somebody yes and if it's the question of betrayal he did not betray anybody he just tried his best to console ravana but when he did not listen he did the rightful he gave all the secret ways to ram and to lakshman and to hanuman by which the entire lanka was destroyed yes and he did that which was to be done earlier <laughs> i wish somebody would have done this earlier then all these things would have not happened yes so vibhishan even if he did not want he still had to end up doing things yes for the restoration of dharma for uh, making sure that dharma is again reinstantiated into this world and that is why his greatness spans beyond the entire borders of his courage and his fearlessness and his faith in the holy name of lord ram in his faith in the words of the gurus sadhus as uh, scriptures and the sadhus so that is the greatness of vibhishan and these are the lessons which he wants to teach us all right so there you go if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and before i end i will again say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay wish you good luck with another character until next time bye bye see you